Today we're going to do the thermal linear expansion lab. For this lab, you're going to need a thermal expansion apparatus, um, three metal rods. Today we have aluminum, steel, and copper in a steam jacket. You're going to need an ohmmeter, um, thermal gloves, a meter stick, a steam generator, some water, and a container to collect the water after it's done. Okay, to start this procedure, you're going to take the metal rod and you're going to measure the initial length. You're me going to measure from this point to this point. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the meter stick and measure it like so. After you measure it, you're going to put it into the apparatus like this so it fits. You're going to take the needle and pull it back. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the rubber tubing to connect the rod to the steam generator and then take the other side to connect it to the place where you're going to collect the water. When you do that, then you're going to take the wire from the thermistor and connect it to the metal rod. Then the next thing you want to do is connect the ohmmeter to the thermistor. So using those two wires, you're going to connect it right there and right there. You're going to take the initial resistance reading, and using this table here, you're going to convert the reading to a, te to a temperature. After you do that, you're going to pour water into the steam generator and then you're going to turn it on. After the, after the experiment has progressed for 10 minutes, you're going to turn the apparatus off again and take the final resistance reading. Again, you're going to convert the final resistance reading into the final temperature. You're also going to look at the final reading of the, di of the dial. It's going to show you it in millimeters, and what you're going to do is convert the millimeters into centimeters, take that reading, and add it to the initial length of the rod that you measured earlier. That's going to be your, the final length of the rod. Okay, our calculation is going to be based on the change in temperature and the change in length that we found for this experiment. We're going to find, we're going to try to find alpha, which is the thermal coefficient of linear expansion. To do this, we're going to need to use the equation delta L equals alpha times the initial length times the change in temperature. So what you're going to do is after you find alpha from the experimental values, you're going to use the chart which shows the theoretical value of alpha. You're going to use those and compare them by, use, by taking a percentage error. After that, you're going to do this, repeat the same procedure with a steel rod and a copper rod.